This is Richard Wolf for Democracy at Work, responding to another Ask Prof. Wolf question from our Patreon community. And this one comes from Eric. And the question as I read it has two parts. The first one points to the fact that major Marxist theorists of the past, Eric mentions Bernstein and Engels, Marx's partner, uh, were not friendly to workers' co-ops. They didn't see them as an important part of a revolution getting beyond capitalism. And they much preferred consumer co-ops. And their reasoning, uh, according to Eric, was that the problem of making a business really serve the people it's supposed to uh, can't be solved unless you put the people for whom production is intended in charge. And that he was more, or they were more confident that a consumer co-op would make sure that the buyers, the consumers, were deciding what was produced, what its quality, uh, what its costs were uh, properly done. And so they tilted in favor of consumer co-ops. And Eric knows that we here at Democracy at Work emphasize worker co-ops, co-ops among the people who do the production rather than co-ops among the people who consume the products. But I want to hurry to explain that Eric's question gives me an opportunity to do something very important. Our focus at Democracy at Work on worker co-ops is not meant to suggest in any way a criticism of consumer co-ops as a concept the cooperative idea, getting together in a democratic way to meet one's needs is what we are all about. But consumer co-ops, which are widespread here in the United States and even more so around the world, are pretty well known and pretty well tolerated in capitalist societies. That is not the case with worker co-ops. They are discriminated against, they are blocked, they are limited, they are not spoken about. Many people don't know they're even there. So our focus is more about making sure that in the conversation of going beyond capitalism, whatever we say about consumer co-ops, we ought to also be saying about worker co-ops. Or another way to put it, we need both of them. We need the worker co-op to represent the needs, the appropriate preferences of the working people who make everything that comes out of the production process, just like we need, as Engels, Bernstein, and others understood, the consumer to have a voice, a powerful voice in shaping what happens in production, since it's for them, ostensibly, that the production is intended. What would be better than a system in which economic decisions are made together, co-respectively, by a worker co-op and by a consumer co-op, each having a kind of veto power on the other, so that they have to work out what is a consensus. So things aren't done that are good for the workers, but bad for the consumers, and not vice versa either. That would be the best response to the capitalist system and an illustration that human beings have already gone many of the steps towards something much better than capitalism, much less likely to produce outputs that are abusive of the consumer or to have something for the consumer that abuses the dignity and the respect of the worker. And when you remember that most of the workers are also consumers and vice versa, 
you can see that there'd be plenty of overlap between these two cooperatives to make their smooth operation that much more likely. If discussions like these strike you as important advances over what passes for discussions of important social issues, then help us, partner with us, share these videos to others who might be interested, who you talk with anyway, friends, neighbors, coworkers. It's a way of extending the reach of new ways of thinking and new ways of being. One thing you can do right now as another kind of partnership, we are getting very close to reaching the 300,000 number for YouTube subscribers. If you can, go to YouTube, to our channel, Democracy at Work. Click the little button that makes you a subscriber. Doesn't cost a nickel, but it lets the world know that, yeah, the reach, the involvement in what we do keeps growing. Finally, of course, if you can help financially with the costs of producing and distributing these videos, that would be appreciated as well. Thank you.